Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglione, and for four years we've been helping move radio stations to the cloud with our fully cloud-native automation, content management, and production platform, Radio Cloud. Today, I'm here to show you the newest feature of our software, the live studio. And you can tell I'm sitting here, definitely not in a radio studio, but I'm able to broadcast live from anywhere. So Radio Cloud has been on air with our automation platform for the past four years as of fall of 2022. Earlier in 2022, we decided let's build a live studio interface to give stations around the world the ability to go live, whether for a morning show, an afternoon show, or just to do some live updates and cut-ins if necessary. Well, just a matter of months later, we have that feature ready up here at the top. It's our live software. It, once you click it, it pulls up this setting page. You're gonna choose DJ mode. You're gonna leave one as the mic fader number and enter a name to display on that fader. My name's Andrew, that's the name I'm gonna enter. Since we're running Radio Cloud on Amazon Web Services, we have a global network of endpoints and locations at our disposal. Your station or network is just gonna get the location closest to you, and since I'm in the US, I'm gonna choose the US location. Recording mode is something I'll touch on a little later, but it's a very cool way to beef up your pre-produced tracks. Down here on radio, you're gonna choose one channel mode. Expire time just shows how long the link is valid. And when I say the link, I mean the URL because the Radio Cloud platform, both automated and live studio, is a web-based, browser-based system. So just to be safe, give yourself 24 hours, give yourself a week, give yourself a link that's not gonna expire within five or 10 minutes if you're sending it out to co-hosts and guests. You click generate token, you click open live page, then you click start radio and this is what's going to get you the whole radio experience in a web browser radio cloud allows you to broadcast live basically just with a laptop a microphone and an internet connection from anywhere on the planet you can see right here i'm on camera so we've built this with webrtc and opus it's almost like a zoom conferencing platform with a web radio virtual console type interface so let's take you through some of the features that you see on the screen. Up here in the gear icon, this allows you to set your audio input and output, choose your camera, and turn on and off a few different functions at the bottom. This allows you to go full screen. And then on the left side, you have the playlist. So whatever current hour you're in, that's what's gonna show in the playlist. You have your audio faders, your hotkey fader, and your mic faders and then there's a phone fader not pictured as well. And these are customizable. So if you need more audio faders or more microphone faders, either way, that works. You have your hotkeys on the right side. And as you can see up here, we're in manual mode right now. So what that means is I'm enabled to drag and drop. I can drag onto the hotkeys. I can drag onto the playlist. And from the playlist to the faders, it's very easy to drag and drop, but there is an automated touch to it as well, and that's if you're in live assist mode, or even if you're running the station in auto mode, you're gonna see levels start to bounce, and that's because the first few elements are gonna be playing. So in this case, this voice track is playing on top of the intro to this upcoming song. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off, but you can see some different functions down here. MUT, of course, stands for mute. PFL is pre-fade listening, and that's just Q, as we know it here in the US. That allows you to preview an element before it actually goes on air. Right here is my mic fader, and this, you can see, as with all the other faders, extremely easy to drag, extremely responsive. Just like on the playlist, you can preview these elements almost instantaneously, and that allows you to hear what's gonna play before it actually plays. With any live system, the question we get the most is, what about latency? Am I gonna be able to detect any delay or latency? And the answer is no. With Radio Cloud, the latency of our live studio software is actually less than 100 milliseconds. So the only time latency becomes an issue is if you want to hear your own microphone audio touted through your headset. Typically, when I'm on air, when I'm on a video call or a meeting, I'm wearing AirPods and I don't hear myself talking in my ears. I hear everyone else on the meeting, my co-hosts, and I hear the music or the audio that's being shared. I don't hear myself and that's okay. And if that's okay with you too, latency isn't an issue. 
If it is and you want to hear yourself, then we just route that microphone audio locally through a device to take away the latency. Otherwise, Radio Cloud's got it down to a science where you don't have to be in a studio to do a live show. You can be in the US talking to a co-host in Asia with a guest in Europe and there won't be any delay and you can see each other on these various microphones. Which brings me to the next point, if you click this little button here, that's going to enable you to invite guests or co-hosts. You enter their name and their email and for a guest, you're going to use mic only so they can only see the studio and not actually change anything. For a co-host, you'll change it to contributor so your co-host can then also contribute, move their faders, change the playlist if needed, move mic audio up and down as well. You're also able not to change the levels of your co-hosts and guests, but you can mute them if it comes to that. Over in the playlist, two cool features to show you, the reorder function. So if you need to swap out a song from later in the hour, you can drag and drop when the reorder button is clicked. The other function is this red plus button. This allows you access to your audio library. You can choose from different categories, search by artist and title, and add an element into the playlist if you need to. The way the hotkey fader works is once you pot up your hotkey fader, whatever is on here, all you do is click it, and you can see it's going to start playing. The levels are going to start bouncing. This button up here controls whether you're on or off air. And the next time I show you this button, it's going to look a little different. So if we go back to the settings page, every time you make a change on the setting page, by the way, you need to click generate token because it's going to create a new link with those settings for you. So let's change this to test and let's check recording mode now. And now I'm going to click generate token, open a new live page, click start radio, and that's going to give me the ability to record. And I'm going to click yes if it prompts this. You can see right here it switched my camera to this live browser. Here's test. And then what's really cool is up here now you see this. VT TNR 2110. That is a name of a placeholder in this specific hour for this specific station. So if I were to click on this, it's going to start recording. And now instead of having a more simple web-based voice tracking module, you have a more in-depth studio feel to where you can actually voice track and produce elements with guests and co-hosts right in this space here to then air on your station later. So that's ultimately the goal of Radio Cloud is to give you as much ability as possible for live and automated content and now we've even kind of intermingled the two giving you the ability to record automated content on the live studio. And that is the true power of Radio Cloud, the automation side and the live side. While the Radio Cloud automation platform allows you to voice track and get those voice tracks on air within minutes of recording, the live studio portion delivers a deeper ability for remote collaboration and allows you to go live anytime and anywhere. To see all the new features we deploy on our Radio Cloud platform, visit our website, radio.cloud, and stay tuned to all of our social media channels.